though the cover comes in, Wallet with an excellent job there, taking out Tarek as he was assaulting that bomber, and that bomber is going to be ticking away now. The time has been put on to CLG. We've got Cutler coming in from Connectors. Finesse falls by Pop Dog. Wallet is still a very strong presence with that AWP, and the coverage from Flipside is unreal right now. How do you attack into this? We've got Markov trying to wrap around, but CLG there fighting back. The defuse is coming in. He's going for the stick right now as Cutler goes for that cover. Oh, they're going to make it happen. Excellent stuff there from CLG. I'm so impressed. To get on the board. There it is. First kill for him. He's going to spot the second one as well. Starts lining him up. Sparrow will return, but JDM's playing this so very well. That's three kills for him and a wow. quad. All right. But Zevez is going to get himself the first frag. Are they going to check this spot? The Deagle is going to rip into the first and the second player as well. And a oh. third. Oh my goodness. Is this real life right now? And again, Copenhagen Wolves are going to win potentially a round that should never have been theirs. So, so bad. That being said, though, Lounge are going to dig him out of a hole, mainly in the form of Mihu. Three frags for him. Excellent work. He picks up the weapon. In doing so, the animation costs him his life. But at least he knows where the last player is. Rubino, surely not. I don't think my heart can take it if we see this clutch come in. One versus two. He's got 40 seconds in these crazy clutch. Oh! Oh, that was stunning there from Rubino. Absolutely stunning. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. He has to go for the plant. It just... Goes for the fake. Oh, he's going to find the frag. Rubino, out of nowhere. This guy is going to save the day. But now he knows where both players are playing from. Sparrow, he can actually turn this around. Damage is so very low. What a flick! Sparrow, he just heroes it for his team. on this defense for Lounge. We've got uh, four players left here for Copenhagen Wolves. Rubino is going to shut down two players straight away. Headshots found left, right, and center. <laughs> Rubino with a hat trick right at the end. Will this guy stop? Committed position. They need to find a quick refrag, and they will, and they keep pushing forwards now. This oh is a dominant my. push for Rubino again. This guy is the bane of their existence. Again, Rubino, he's just, what is this guy to this team, to these, this Polish team? He somehow finds Everything, every answer they need, he finds it. It's potentially going to get a one versus one here. This might be nice here for Oscar. Yes, it gets a fast, quick kill. That allows him to potentially defend this now. If he continues to go huge, although he is going to lose his reinforcements. The Copenhagen was looking for no. the close, though. Oscar is no. going absolutely massive. Gets himself three kills. And there's Zeves. He's at a health disadvantage. He's got no time. He's got to go for the plant. And Oscar knows it. He could just go in, but he's going to play it patient. There's the no. engagement. He picks up the quad kill. What a clutch coming in for Oscar. I thought they had no hope, but he's going to save that round. And the poles are still in it. All it takes is a Rubino, and here he comes. There's a smoke down, and he's going to take his time on this one. He does have the liberty of that, just for a moment, as he is knocking at the door of the bomb site. He does not have a kit, though. He's waiting for the first peek. Who's going to be more patient? Rubino goes in, looking for the first spray of bullets, and he's going to pop Spiro's head. It's all down to Innocent. What was that HG, though? What in the actual? And he's got the kill as well, and he's got time to defuse.
It's going close. Bomb is down. No oh. scope comes in. Now it's just one player left. Molotov. He's got plenty of time. And the Molotov could burn him away. He's going to switch out for another weapon. But I think he didn't manage to pick it up. There is the AK-47 now in the hands of Spiro. Goes for the fake. There's the peak. Oh, he gets it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Spiro's going to pick up the round. for when they're ecoing, that's the only time they really do it. Davkos boosted up and he takes down Twist easy. And that means it's gonna be very tough to play in shadows now. He's pretty much surrounded and they're coming for him as well. Davkos instant shot on send, they're running with the AK, gonna go for a bit more, it's a triple kill. And Sevis and Jacob are gonna be left. Davkos just running, he won't stop. He gets a quad kill. Wish you could find that someone, find that someone, find that someone Someone just like you, just like you Wish you could find that someone, find that someone, find that someone Someone just like you, just like you too hot though. Mio just continues to wreck. He gets a third one, just shutting down that short push. JDM deciding to go a bit aggressive and he gets punished. He does it. There we go. Launch gaming. Wish you could find that someone, find that someone, find that someone. Someone just like you, just like you. Wish you could find that someone, find that someone, find that someone. Someone just like you. Okay, then he just keeps on going. Tarek is going to take out Lord, but there's Oscar to deny the plan. The backstab as well on the JDM. And this is shaping up to be one hell of a round. Oscar just coming in big for his... And Oscar now in a 1v2, Lou having lost his teammate. He sees the JDM is jumping. He's going to try and deny it, and he will get the kill. Brings it back to a 1v1. And now he just stands out and gets the job done. Someone just like you, just like you. Someone just like you, just like you. 